Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Nasir Soft. This is the second video of the tutorial series of Gephi, and in this video, I will show you the basic of Gephi. So first, we download the data set from Kaggle, and then after importing the data set to the Gephi, we will apply the different operations and we analyze the network. So data is available on this uh, link that is the Kaggle and this link is mentioned in video description you can download the data set this data set contains the three different files the first is for edge the three different csv file the second is hero network csv and third is nodes.csv so the first step is to download these files so after downloading the data if uh, i open the nodes.csv file here you can find the two columns the first is the node column and the second is of its type so we have two different type the uh, it means that two different node the first is comic and second is hero okay so two different node types in this data that is used that is comic and hero and when i open the other file that is edge.csv file it contains also two columns okay and each indiv uh, individual rows represent a single edge in gephi the edge table requires two columns the first is source and target in an undirectional network it doesn't means it doesn't matter which node in which column but when we talk about the directional graph or edge network the source contains the starting node and the target contains the targeted node so the first step is in inside the edge.csv file to rename the column a to the source and the column b to the target as the gephi basically understand the edge table with the source and target so therefore i rename it target and save the file yes so our first step is completed that is to download the data as this data is already prepared so therefore there is no preparation required at the start so now we move to the second step that is loading data to the gephi so open the gephi so our data is fully prepared so therefore i just import the data to the Gephi. Click on the new project and so to import the data, click on the data laboratory tab and inside this one, click on the import spreadsheet and here navigate to the folder that is where you save that folder. In my scenario, this is inside the desktop so this is the folder where all the three files are and first open the nodes so basically this is the csv file so therefore set the separator as comma and the chart set as utf8 click on the next and give the time representation to interval and finished Set the graph type to undirected and edge merge strategy to sum and append to existing work space. Click on OK. After some time, you will see here it load the node data. That is node type, that is a group type, and comic, comic, and so on. You can find here all the data. So now we need to import the another edge uh, that is the node and now we need to import the edge file also inside the data laboratory click on import spreadsheet and here the edge file also comma separated is comma utf8 char set click on next and time representation is interval and click on the finished and inside this one this is the undirected set graph type as undirected 
and append to the existing workspace and click on OK. And the nodes is also imported. So we can check the both node and edge by clicking this node and when we use edge that this is the edge data and this is the node data by tapping this one so our data is uh, successfully imported so click on overview for check the graph okay this shows us the graph so don't worry the graph is just showing like a black box so uh, let's make it some beautifully so to make uh, the graph readable so we need to change the or call the layout function to change the position of node in the graph so setting up the different layout for the readable uh, view of the graph so inside the layout there are various different layouts you can apply one by one or to check the uh, or to check it by yourself in this tutorial i apply the force atlas 2 click on the force atlas 2 and click on the run button and here you can see that now the graph is showing in something meaningful as well at the bottom here different various options are showing to you for example if i i can change the background color press this one and change the background color as you want for example i choose this color and press ok and you will see that background color is being changed so now we move to the calculate the network level measure and we ana uh, analyze this graph okay this network basically uh, this network and we applied a different uh, network analysis terminology so to check the size of the network on the top right corner this is the context tab and inside the context there are the inside the nodes you can see that 19095 nodes are present in this network and basically network size refer to the number of nodes so therefore this network size is 19095 so inside the network level measure the another term is density so how we can find the density so density is basically number of edge divided by total possible number of edges. so inside this statistics there are various different measure here you can find the average degree average wage and so on so here this is the graph density click on the run and here this is undirected graph so check this one and press ok so after some time it shows me the graph density report that is density is 0 0.001 we can save this result as well by pressing the save and give the location for example and file name this is density in my desktop so you can also save the results as well so we can also zoom if the network is large for example by pressing here this one we can zoom it or dig it out for more okay this so for zooming this is showing okay here you can find this one and there is also various option inside the edges there is also a scale okay so for better understanding about the edges and we can also select the color for in and out for example to in i select the color this one Uh, this for example blue and for out like yellow so we can also specify the color for in and out also and there is a scale use node color yes and default color is this one we can also change the node color for example i change the node color to this you can see that the change color is done so this is all about the previous section so let uh, uh, consideration and other parameter of network uh, analysis that is an another concept that is to calculate the centrality measure collection of matrices used to quantify how important and influential a specific node is to the network as a whole 
There are several centrality measures, but in this video, I will cover the degree, closeness, and betweenness. So, first of all, we will talk about the degree. A node degree, if we talk about a single node degree, is the number of edges a node has. So, to calculate the degree, inside the statistic, click and on the average degree, click on the run button. And it shows me that the average degree, basically for each individual uh, degree, it takes the average as a whole network. The average degree is 12.065. And this picture also shows me the degree distribution. Or if we, this is the whole network degree. If I want to see the each individual network uh, node degree, then close this one and inside the edges, the node, sorry, and inside the data laboratory, here you can find a new column that is degree. And here, all the individual node degree is mentioned. For example, 1, 2, 12, 6, 5, and similarly so on. So here, a new column is added. That indicate the each individual node degree. Now we will discuss uh, another centrality measure that is closeness and between, uh, betweenness. Closeness is a measure how well connected a node to every other node in a network. A node closeness is the average number of hoops required to reach every other node in a network where the hoop is the path of edge from one node to another. So in GAFI, inside the statistic here, click on the network diameter run based on your machine and here select the undirected. So based on the machine, it will calculate uh, the betweenness and closeness. Okay, it will take some time. Click OK. So it will take some time and in the result, basically it calculate the closeness as well as the betweenness report. So let's understand the, what is the between, uh, betweenness. Betweenness measure the importance of a node connection in allowing nodes to reach other node in a hope. A node betweenness is the number of shortest path the node is including in divided by the total number of shortest path. This will provide the percentage of shortest path in the network that the node is in. So after some time, it shows me the result that diameter is 5, radius 1 and average path length is 2.4450 and this is betweenness centrality distributions. To check the individual report, this is the overall network report. So to check, uh, to check the individual report, close this one and inside the nodes, and inside the data laboratory, inside the node section here, you can uh, see that two new columns are added. That is the closeness centrality for each individual node. And this is for the betweenness centrality for each individual node. So this is the individual report inside the node section. Okay. So one last thing to check the edge weight that is auto calculated inside the cafe so to see the each individual edge weight inside the data laboratory here go to the edges and inside the edges here you can find the weight inside the weight column the weight column is added so inside the weight you can each individual node weights one last thing uh, in this tutorial that is how you can change the color of or make something more visualize the nodes. So inside the appearance, as you see, there are two things that is nodes and edges. So I want to change the color of nodes. So inside the node, there are three different options. The first is unique. The second is partition and ranking. If I change or click the unique or press this one, then it will cha change the whole color, whole network nodes with the same color okay but in this tutorial i am going to the ranking and inside the ranking i here select the degree so basically on the base of degree i change the color of each individual node okay if the nodes that have higher degree have different color than the other one, there is the in uh, the color something scale okay i applied this scale you can also change the scale as well okay click on apply as you can see that it changed the 
color of the nodes okay here you see that the majority of nodes has same color it means that more nodes have low degree we can also change the color by on the top left corner here inside the ranking inside the scale double click on this one and for example i change it to the red one and press ok and click on the apply here you can see that majority of the nodes have same color it means that they have the majority have the same low level of degree but on zooming you can see the more other uh, also color of the nodes that have higher degree so to make visible on all these nodes that have higher degree then inside the node section inside go to the side size that is the side tab and inside the ranking here choose the degree and and inside the maximum size here write 100 and click on apply here you can see that some nodes have more size that are very low as compared to other one that is that have high degree so we can in this scenario we can assign or arrange to visualize the node by their size also inside the degree okay for the degree perspective here you can see that majority uh, nodes have low degree and some have large degree also so this is uh, the, how the jeffy <coughs> works that is the end of the tutorial series of jeffy if you have any questions regarding to this topic you can email me at narcissoft93 at gmail.com or you can commit inside the video comment section uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos stay blessed have a nice day